We have some big news for you, as we've been told that Squirrel Girl is going to be making her big Marvel Cinematic Universe debut in her very own Disney Plus series. This makes perfect sense to us, and if you've been paying attention, it'll make perfect sense to you too. Why does it make sense to us? Well, it's an old Marvel trick Kevin Feige and company have been using for a long time now. But before we get into that, first we must discuss who Squirrel Girl is. Who the f Squirrel Girl? Squirrel Girl is a fan-favorite Marvel character who is not too well known to general audiences. That's been changing over the years, more on that later. But once you understand Squirrel Girl, you'll understand why she's a fan favorite. At a young age, Doreen Green, aka Squirrel Girl, discovered she could communicate with squirrels and later found out she suffered a modification in her genes that did end up manifesting her trademark tail. Like Spider-Man and spiders, her powers are proportionate to an upscaled squirrel. This means she has superhuman speed, agility, strength, and reflexes. Fans love her because she's super tough and believe it or not, one of the most powerful characters in the Marvel Universe. She once fought Wolverine and won. She even beat Thanos. Yeah, that Thanos. Let that sink in. She's been a member of the Avengers, the Great Lakes Avengers, and has teamed up with Luke Cage and Jessica Jones, both of whom should be making their way back to the MCU soon. Sweet Christmas. <laughs> She even had her own solo comic book run where she juggled being a college student and a superhero. With all these incredible facts we now know about Squirrel Girl, you can understand why Marvel fans have been clamoring for Squirrel Girl to come to the MCU. There was even a lot of talk and memes about what would have happened if she was there when Infinity War and Endgame came out. Well, according to one of our sources, a Squirrel Girl Disney Plus series is planned for Phase 6 or 7 of the MCU. But we think she can be introduced into the MCU in Phase 5 or at the beginning of Phase 6 to prep audiences even more for the character. Yes, that's a segue into that old Marvel trick about prepping general audiences for characters we mentioned at the beginning. And this could very well answer the casting question as well. If you ever want to know what Marvel character the company is feeling out to audiences, just keep an eye on the Marvel Entertainment YouTube channel. In 2017, they released a Marvel TLDR video breaking down the character. This came out just before the animated TV movie Marvel Rising Secret Warriors. They did a similar thing with America Chavez before she was even announced for Doctor Strange 2, as well as with Kamala Khan before Miss Marvel was announced. Before this Marvel TLDR video and Marvel Rising Secret Warriors, they released a trailer for the graphic novel Squirrel Girl Beats Up the Marvel Universe. Right. So after the Marvel Rising Secret Warriors TV movie came the animated Marvel Rising Initiation. This was a TV miniseries consisting of four minute episodes. Squirrel Girl has even been advertised in a ton of Marvel video games over the last decade. They even brought her heavily into the new Marvel Snap game and also name dropped her in the trailer for it. Yeah, and they put together a fantastic team. I mean, Spider-Man, Gamora, Doctor Doom. Squirrel Girl. That's a lot, you might say. But wait, there's more. This past year, they put out a Sirius XM podcast called Marvel's Squirrel Girl, the unbeatable radio show. And there was a live action New Warriors television show that was being developed, but was scrapped. They even got as far as shooting a pilot. Do you know what ties most of these projects together and gives us our best hint at casting? Milana Weintrub. How do you, how do you like, how do you like them? How do you like the apples? The Uzbekistan-born American actress, stand-up comedian, and writer has been voicing Squirrel Girl for the last four years, starting with that Marvel Rising Secret Warriors TV movie. She was even cast as Squirrel Girl in that now-defunct live-action New Warriors TV series. It's a safe bet that Milana Weintrub could be Marvel's top casting choice for Squirrel Girl. One thing's for sure is she's the top choice for fans, and ours as well. It looks like Marvel, after a lackluster Phase 4, is really starting to turn the ship around. What with that excellent Werewolf by Night Halloween special that came out, which by the way, you can watch our review here, and make sure to check out our news and exclusives playlist for more videos like these. We're definitely excited about the upcoming MCU phases. What about you? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Like and subscribe.